Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan and I'm here today with my friend Annalisa and we are filming this fall look. I can't think of a name for it, but if I do, it will be written right here. This look features a bronze eye and I used one of my favorite eye products for that. A beautiful, not too dark, but kind of darkish red berry lip. And let's get started. To prep her skin, I'm going to start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Original, and I'm going to blend that with my fingertips out towards the hairline. Then for foundation, I'm taking the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation in shade 3, and using that with the Perfecting Face Brush, just in circular motions on her skin, very, very lightly. To conceal and highlight under her eyes, I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, dotting that on the places where I want it, and then I'm using the e.l.f. Um, I think this is the e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just blending that in. This brush makes blending your concealer super, super easy and soft under the eyes. To set that concealer in place, I'm taking the Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light and just brushing that over the areas that I concealed. And here is a clip of Annalisa with her base completed. Moving on to a little bit of color, I'm taking the Lorac Tantalizing Bronzer, and I'm just brushing this over the higher points of her cheeks, adding a little bit of warmth and a little bit of sheen as well. Because the focus of this look is the lip, I'm keeping everything on the skin pretty natural and choosing a very natural shade of pink for the blush. This is Bali from Cargo, and I'm using a stippling brush to lightly apply that to the top of the cheekbones. Now that blush and bronzer are done, I'm moving on to brows. I'm taking two of the cooler tone shadows from my Full Exposure palette, mixing those together with a little angled brush, and just flicking that through the brows very, very light and naturally. And then I'm going to set that all into place with the Espresso Tinted Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. For eyes, I'm using the Mali Beauty Saddle Shimmer Evercolor Eyeshadow Stick. I'm just drawing that on from the little tube, and then I'm going to take a nice fluffy blending brush and kind of just run that over it to soften it a little bit, and then I'm going to do the exact same on the other eye. This stuff is amazing, guys. It is waterproof. Once it sets, it's not going anywhere. It does blend out beautifully for about 30 seconds, and I'm just going to apply a little bit more just for a little bit more impact on the lash line. To line her eyes, I'm taking this black velvet pencil from Mally Beauty, smudging that into the lash line, and then I'm going to blend it out with a little pencil brush. I don't want any harsh line, I want a nice gradient from the black into the gold shimmer. I'm just going to repeat the process until the eyes are just as dark as I like at the lash line, blending between each step. Before moving on, I'm just going to use a little bit of remover, clean up under the eyes, and then add a little bit of a brightening powder under the eyes, kind of where I took the concealer off. This is Well Rested from Bare Minerals. This is one of my absolute all-time favorite products. After a quick curl of the lashes, I'm taking the Mali Beauty Volumizing Mascara and applying that to the tops and the bottoms. This is one coat, guys. This mascara is super sweet. I'm obsessed. Three simple steps, and that completes the eyes. Moving on to lips, I'm starting off with the Studio Gear Lip Pencil in Cameo. This is just a nice, kind of neutrally red. It's not too dark, not too bright. Blending that in, I'm taking this all over the lip, just because that's the way I like to do it. And then I'm taking the Alter Ego Lipstick in Dominatrix from Lorac Cosmetics. I'm applying this very lightly with the lip brush because I don't want a full color. You can build this up to a very, very dark burgundy lip but I kind of want to keep it a little bit more on the red side. And to top that off, I'm using the Current Lip Lacquer from Smashbox and just using the same lip brush to blend that over. This adds a nice glossiness and a nice longevity to the lips. And here is the final look. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this look. If you want to see more fall tutorials, leave me a thumbs up and a comment below telling me what you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both are at John John Talks, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Box plus the league. Um, I don't like football, but